Yo, what's up guys, Frosty. The snowman. Here and today, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new weapon that was unlocked. But before we get into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Raid Secrets and every single community member that contributed to unlocking this weapon. You can't say thank you to just one single person. It was a community effort. So anyways, this is the Bastion Fusion Rifle. For the perks, we have Saint Fist, charge to fire three spreads of kinetic slugs, hammer forge rifling, liquid coils, breakthrough which says a portion of this weapon's damage bypasses elemental shields which is not going to really matter in crucible and then lastly composite stock we're going to hop into some gameplay for some first impressions we're going to be pairing it with a waking vigil striker quick glance over my perks and mods anyways i hope you guys enjoy let's get into it control all right here we go we're going to be playing control on bannerfall Pretty snappy. Has a pretty unique charge. Ooh, so I managed to get one kill. The other player has the weapon as well. We're gonna basically go down in a trade situation. We have some teammates playing for B. We do have to make sure we control the outside map control. We're gonna throw a grenade here, a challenge guy B. Quite a slide over for some inertia override. Oh, he just ran at me with uh handheld right there. We still managed to kill them with the architects. I guess you could say this exotic's already pretty OP, dude, using the architects. We have two zones on our control. We can go ahead and play for some power ammo here as well get the special ammo. We're going to try to get rid of this machine gun as quickly as possible as we are trying to showcase the fusion rifle. He's going to kill me with that thing. Enemy team has control of B now. And they got a radar ping on my right side. What's the special ammo we can slide over here? Range seems to be pretty decent. Trying to switch weapons there. We're going to get cleaned up. And these players are still playing around B. They are starting to make a slight comeback as we're not putting enough importance on the zones. We're going to go ahead and put some attention on B. Oh, I have some teammate support, thankfully. I'm going to be doing 10 damage from that far. Even though it seems like a pretty meaningless fight. We were able to tell. This thing is not an air intel. You cannot map people from that far. We'll see, we'll have to continue playing with it. Yeah, definitely not going to be air until range. And yes, I'm happy about that. <laughs> Why would I want that, right? Uh, these guys are going to be pushing B soon. I'm going to shut down the shotgunner. See some radar pings, but cannot find the opponent. Try to just spray some shots. We do have a bunch of special ammo. This is wonderful. Almost managed to secure that kill. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a super here. Oh no, my bash and shots better, man. Get out of my face. <laughs> so these guys are capturing Z. That's a golden gun. That's gonna attack him. You have advantage. Two for one. I'm gonna get rushed by a shotgun. I could have gone a nice little three streak, but I did choke the engagement. Looks like the enemy team is popping supers, trying to 
create an opening. We're gonna slide in here. Super one shot, time to disengage. I wonder if we can counter the... It seemed to do some pretty decent damage. I wasn't able to fully connect the entire blast, but as you would expect from fusion rifles, they can pretty decently combat supers. That guy's gonna outgun me with a bash and it looks like I spawned behind him. Some of these guys are playing for B right now. We're gonna just throw a random grenade. Might work as a distraction. We got the kill here. We're gonna get cleaned up after I kill the Nova Warp. So, as I was saying, it does seem to do pretty decent damage against supers. I would say it's safe to assume after putting a couple primary shots, you can clean up a super with this thing. We're gonna tank that melee. Got some extra ammo. Let's try to wait around the corner here. Nice. We're going to try to move around. Regain our health. Try to be smart here. He's trying to rush me. Oh no, the Yotun. We're losing by a couple points here. I'll say so far we're doing a pretty decent job at really showcasing what the weapon can do. We're getting a lot of uh, engagements where we can use this thing. We'll throw a grenade there just in case. We're going to try to get on B. Provide some support. We're going to get a trade and we like one tapped each other. <laughs> that was pretty funny. We're going to hold on to the striker smash in case we need to shut down somebody at a zone. Could be A here. He's going to rush me with a shotgun. That was a good play on his part. I was pretty confident that I was going to be able to slide in with the fusion rifle and take care of that. But it's okay. We'll take that ammo, reload this thing. Not sure where the enemy team is going to be spawning. Three minutes, left. Three minutes left. We're probably going to go for a smash play here. He's going to follow up with a melee. Good play. We have some pretty good map control though. Looking at the points, we do have a decent enough advantage for me to assume we can win this already. See if we can clean him up with a primary. Oh, he was smart enough to dodge away from the blast, but he still got killed by the fusion rifle. So it definitely shows right there. Even with the damage reduction, the fusion rifle does pack a punch. Let's see if we can challenge us. Okay, so we got the fusion blast and the melee combo was enough. Maybe we had some um, assistance there from my teammate, but it was a nice little first impressions to really get to see what the thing can do. I'm excited to mess around more with it and see the full potential of the fusion rifle. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.